It's Roger Mud Fossil University. I am going to give you the three minute introduction to mud fossils. This is an Achilles tendon and this also is an Achilles tendon. However, this was from a giant and it was a vehicle with had dead wheels and it had tractor type things so that it wouldn't sink in and it was cutting slabs of the tendon meat and making walls in the background with this. Here is the tendon once again. Slabs are being removed and being moved to the back. As again, I'm just going through this quick. You can come in and look at it. This is the bloody stuff here. Um, and this is the bloody stuff that is... See, I said it again. <laughs> now, up over here is, uh, those are the, the, the chunks of meat they took off. And then there's little bumps on them, and those are where the tendons are. And here, here's, i show you these here. Let's see, this is a mess. Look at that nasty, terrible looking ones up here. Now, this is what happens. Uh, they took these slabs of tendon from a, a creature, and these are the tendon balls here, too. Now, let me show this. Balls, which the balls are all over the world. They come in clusters all over the place, because this is only not just four. There's probably 50 or 60. Yeah, they come in just balls all over the place, and they anchor these mats in, so the mat can pull back and forth, and these balls are anchored. That one's pulled out by you know it's injury now uh so there you have that that shows some pretty and here's the walls and those are the tendon uh, straps and those are the straps where they broke them off this looks to be a a, a test wall to test um how these things are going to hold up in the environment because they're just doing them all different ways uh and i go on to finish up with the um this is the structure of tendons these are the hex fibers that you see at Giant's Causeway at um, Devil's Tower because those are also feet of creatures. Uh, let's see. And that's where it breaks right there. That's called the abrupt, uh, uh, well, it's an abrupt transition, and it changes from the um, Achilles tendon, and it breaks, and then you get that wrinkle zone. And that is what you find on the top of Devil's Tower and all of the other feet that are around the world. And this is the tendon fibrils, and, uh, and that's what it is. And then it comes down, and this is how they mate into each other. That has nothing to do with, uh, with um, volcanism. And, um, and that is, uh, that's the architecture of a foot. That's the back part of the heel. It goes that way. What it is. Okay, my friends, uh, it's been many years, so I'm just going to do it quick and show you, and then you can take it from there. I'm done trying to force people to see what they will not see. That is a giant fish, and that is in a Morocco, in that area, Mauritania, and up above the fish is a dragon that is spitting stuff on the fish, and that is the stuff that it's spitting. It's some kind of a... Uh, it's almost identical to the most nasty um, snake venoms, really. And it's coming out of this uh, dragon's mouth right here onto the fish. And here's the dragon's head, and this is his throat. And that's the flashy-looking, fluty stuff. And this is the dragon's throat, and it runs straight down the dragon's throat. You see it? These are the dragon scales. And it just runs and runs and runs because this is his throat. And there was a place down here where the, the source of an injury was killed right there. Something cut across that dragon's throat right there. And all that blood ran out. And any coroner will understand that this is the, what happens as blood decays from a dead, decaying, in this case, a giant dragon. Now, that's his neck. It runs all the way down. And I've done an autopsy. It is an avian creature. It has a cloaca. That's the body. These are the legs. It apparently had red wings, big red wings, it looks like to me. And here's the tail. comes all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And you can see it again. Here's the bloody runoff of the decaying tail. And it really runs quite a ways out because it flashes way out here. I believe this is still part of the tail. Now, that is a giant dragon. That is a giant fish. This was written about 
long ago. We have giants. I have DNA tested too. So this is not something that, uh, this is not a joke. This is for real. This is a DNA test right here. I have three of them. One of them was over 200 feet tall, a giant human being, DNA certified. Another one was over 60 feet tall. And then I had one that was from this right here. The other ones I really can't carry in here too well, but that's a lung from a human being. So it's standard size lung. That's the pattern of the pleura. That's the pleura. That's the pattern of the heart and the left human lung. It's very well understood. That's the fascia tongue. That's what it is. And again, that was DNA certified. This is not, and it was ancient DNA, uh, ancient DNA protocols and all that business. It took three months to get this done. Three tests on here. They all came out positive. And, um, and it's certified tests. So it's not just a joke. It's not just a guess. Homo sapien mitochondrial uh, cytochrome B gene and D loop region. So, what it is, is what it is. So, uh, uh, now that I have made my statements, I think it's time for science to engage me. I've engaged science, tried to be gentle for years. That well, didn't work. By the way, I have the giants right here on my property, and uh, if someone would contact me, I might be interested in having it examined. This is the palm, DNA certified. I have fingers, I have knuckles. This is the the fleshy part of your palm right there. And then you have one of these that runs down there. The thumb is off this way. So left and I have the thumb and I have some other stuff from this knuckles and things like that. Now this goes back eight years. And you see the silvery looking stuff there? That's from silicon. Silicon in your skin and especially in grip skin. You see this, you see it silver, silver? Very interesting, the chemistry, and I figured it out quite well. All right, that's, that's, that's the thumb, just the very tip of the thumb from that hand. And oops, that's where I got the, see that's where the black blood is, that's where the uh, our, our vein side is. This is where the artery side is, where it's the red blood. And that's underneath, that's the, um, pads under the bottom and this is another one was completely eroded away and that is what the apical tuft is that sits right in the middle here this one has it here you can see where it would be and that's all this these all these little holes these we call the tuberosities the tendons come up and in those little straps and they hang right into that into those holes and that's let you articulate your fingers so somebody get a hold of me Roger, R-O-G-E-R, -E at mudfossils, with an S, dot com.